show that the sequence 2 plus n satisfies this recurrence relation. Let's go ahead and carefully work through this. So to do this problem, we basically have to take this sequence and plug it into this equation and verify that it's true. So let's do it very, very carefully. So for k greater than or equal to 2, let's start by plugging it into the right-hand side because that's the more complicated side. So we have 2 times t sub k minus 1 minus t sub k minus 2. So this is equal to, so let's see, 2. So t sub k minus 1 is the same thing as t sub n, except we replace all of the n's with k minus 1's. So this is 2 plus parentheses k minus 1. I just put the parentheses there just, just because for added clarity. That's their n minus, and then parentheses, and t sub k minus 2 means we replace all of the n's with k minus 2. So it'll be 2 plus k minus 2. And again, I just put the k minus 2 in parentheses for added clarity. So this piece here is your, is your t sub k minus 2. And this piece here is your t sub k minus 1. Very good. So now let's go ahead and keep going. So this is 2. We can combine the 2 and the negative 1 here. This will be 1 plus k, because 2 minus 1 is 1, minus, and then here the 2's cancel, so we have k. We can distribute the 2, so we get 2 plus 2k minus k. And that's equal to 2 plus k, because 2k minus k is k. Oh, that's the same thing as g sub k, which is exactly what we wanted to show. So we started with the right-hand side, and we showed it was equal to the left-hand side. So we've shown that the sequence satisfies the recurrence relation.